Alam nyo ba na ang nakaimbento ng COVID-19 saliva test ay isang Pilipina? At isa sa mga nagsusulong ng kasalukuyang space program ng NASA ay Filipino rin. Bukod sa pagiging Pilipino, may isa pa silang common denominator. Sila at karamihan sa mga sayantipikong Pilipino ay wala sa Pilipinas. Researchers in R&D per million people in Singapore is more than 7,000. In Malaysia, they have around 2,000, while it's about 1,800 in Thailand. Mayroon namang 708 R&D personnel per million population sa Pilipinas as of 2018. These numbers tell us that yes, we do have a low number um, of scientists and STEM researchers and practitioners in the Philippines. Bakit nga ba tila kulang ang scientists sa Pilipinas? And we need experts. Why? Science is about learning how to think about problems, how to test hypotheses, how to formulate conclusions. So when you don't have that, you know, practical thinking, science becomes this far away, elusive thing instead of something that's happening every day in our daily lives. Scientific research drives innovation in all aspects of our lives, including technology, how we manage and care for our natural resources, how we adapt and recover from climate change, as well as health and medical advances. The list goes on. We need scientists to be asking and answering important questions. Yes, they exist. Yes, you can ask them questions, and yes, you can have a career in the sciences, whether you know it's in the Philippines or abroad. We continue still to um, experience uh, scientists getting out of the country for greener pasture and uh, greater opportunities outside, but uh, we encourage them to come back. So this is actually to counter the effects of brain drain, and what this is to promote brain gain. Pero bakit nga ba umaalis ang ating mga scientists sa Pilipinas in the first place? The problem usually lies in our limited resources, lack of capacity, failing infrastructures, lesser opportunities, and sometimes even bureaucracy. We have so many barriers to practicing science, administrative work. It, I think it really distracts from the science that we should have been doing. Then there's also bureaucracy, and this is also very well documented, um, especially when it comes to procurement. And another well documented concern would be the delaying of salaries. Mahirap ang buhay ng scientist and researcher sa Philippines in terms of resources. Pag nilipat niyo Filipino researcher, nilipat mo sa ibang country, very productive. So hindi pwede niyo tao yung problema kundi yung sistema. Isa pa sa nakikita ng problema ay ang kawalan ng budget. Sagot naman ng DOST, patuloy raw ang pagtaas ng inilala ang pera ng gobyerno para sa siyensya at pag-aaral nito sa bansa. The government has increased the grants in aid program of uh, the Department of Science and Technology, meaning they increased the budget in order for the scientists to conduct more researches in the Philippines to include buying equipment, renovating the uh, existing uh, facilities, and even providing honorarium for the scientists. In fact, the department's budget for research and development has increased since 2010. Na ngayon ay umaabot na sa mahigit 7 billion pesos in the last two years. The government has uh, been putting a lot of emphasis on uh, these young scientists of us in the Philippines to be able to respond to the science technology innovation needs of the country. First, we provide incentives for students to go into science by one, having our Philippine Science High School. Ito libre lahat. Mula noong 2014, nagkaroon na ng 16 campuses in different regions of the country ang Philippine Science High School o PSHS. Second, we have what we call our Science Education Institute who provides scholarship to high schools and undergraduates who are pursuing science technology. The Science and Technology Scholarship Programs under the Science Education Institute or SEI has also awarded more than 10,000 master's and doctorate scholarships to date. 
fact, we provide also training to science teachers, math teachers, not only in the Philippine Science High School, but even in the teachers from DepEd. We want to pursue also promotion of STEM in DepEd and even in our private and public schools in the Philippines. If our hopes and dreams lie with the youth of the country, perhaps part of the solution lies in making the younger generation more interested in science and tech. It's about making science fun. It's not removing that joy of learning. So that's why I think it's very important to invest in the infrastructure so that science continues to be fun and you know you continue cultivating the natural curiosity that we all had as kids. Para naman sa mga batang nangangarap na maging scientist at pumasok sa science, technology, engineering and mathematics o STEM, paano kung ang madalas na tanong sa ambisyon na ito ay ano ang iyong magiging trabaho? Yun yung main problem. Ano nga yung career prospect? Ang problema talaga ako kaya umalis, yung opportunity nga. So kung maging researcher ka, anong option mo? Don't get me wrong, there are jobs. What I think is the limiting factor or what you know, makes most people seek elsewhere if there's limited job progression up the career ladder. Those who want to go into the academe seek elsewhere or perhaps go through grad school first and usually it's abroad. So I think these problems are systemic. There are positions available. It's usually just other factors that make people leave. But one thing I could say though, experience ko sa mga scientists, lalo yung junior scientists, na very inspiring, na in spite na difficult yung situation, very motivated ang junior scientists na Philippines. And this is where DOST's Balik Scientist Program comes in. It was put into place to encourage Filipino experts abroad with advanced degrees in science technology to return to the country and serve the country. It was on October 24, 1975 that the Presidential Decree 819 under Ferdinand Marcos Sr. first established the Balik Scientist Program. Naisabatas naman ito noong June 15, 2018 sa ilalim ng RA 11035 also known as the Balik Scientist Act. Sa ilalim ng batas, layo ng programa na mas maparami ang scientists at researchers sa bansa, mapalakas ang ating academic institutions as well as enterprises, at mapabilis ang knowledge sharing pati na ang pagpasok ng mga bagong teknolohiya sa Pilipinas. Kung maraming umaalis, mayroon din namang bumabalik. The important thing was not the financial obligations, but my moral obligations. Yung nag-encourage sa akin na umuwi is to really mentor yung next generation. I was able to render community service. The research and development ecosystem in the Philippines is much more developed now compared to about the decade The Balik Scientist Program is a huge opportunity for you to give back. We have so much to do here in the country. If Balik Scientists are any indicators of where Filipino scientists are in the world, the data would show that they are in most continents, including the North America, Europe, Africa, Australia, and all of Asia. As of 2022, a total number of 592 Balik Scientists were encouraged to return to the Philippines, with 759 engagements helping 131 host institutions across 16 regions. Tinutulungan nila ang ating akademya, mga ahensya ng gobyerno, at iba't ibang industriya kasama ang agriculture, health, and energy sectors. Bukod sa pamasahe pa uwi ng Pilipinas, may iba't iba pang incentives para sa mga successful applicants ng Balik Scientist Program. Isa sa mga tumugon sa panawagan na ito sa mga scientists lalo na nitong panahon ng pandemya, ay si Dr. Vic Ilag. During COVID, isang creative na solution na ginawa nila yung virtual, actual, actually ako virtual balik scientist. So even though pabalik-balik ako na for the past 30 years, first time ko lang maging official balik scientist under a balik scientist program. We adapted to times as well when COVID struck, walang makapuntang balik scientist dito. So, 
we revised our guidelines. They can now have either medium term or long term. 100% during the COVID period of our short term was done virtually. But for other scientists who can come to the Philippines, we encourage a physical engagement with them. They can be balik-balik scientists. Ang tanong, nakakatulong nga ba ito sa science at technology sa bansa? I think it's helpful in a way na it creates incentives para makabalik permanently as well as even short term. Most, if not all, na Pinoy overseas are more than willing to help and contribute. Ang kailangan lang ng Philippines maging creative kung paano facilitate. As a starting point, I'm glad it's there, but we should also be doing more to prevent scientists from leaving in the first place, and once they come back, prevent them from leaving again. <laughs> the numbers of researchers in the country have also almost doubled from 20,239 in 2015 to 37,701 in 2018. We now have 356 researchers per million Filipinos in 2018 from 180 in 2010 which is an 88.36% increase in just 8 years. Despite the increases, nananatiling mababa ang mga bilang na ito. We have a shortage of qualified teachers, and so you have usually unspecialized teachers who have to teach science subjects that are not necessarily their expertise. Scientists help in training the younger generation of local scientists and therefore multiplying the number of available experts in the country. Science is actually all around you. It's not just a subject. It's everywhere. The public, ideally, we should have had the resources to be uh, able to have that understanding of science. We have more problems coming in. We need more scientists to solve our global problems. We have to remember na kahit ang low-income o developing countries, ay may scientific knowledge and development rin na maaaring ibahagi sa mundo. And there is room for growth in scientific research in the Philippines. Marami rin competitive Filipino scientists. Ang problema, there's not enough of them and there's a lot of them who leave the country. At ang kanilang bawat pag-alis, ito ay kawalan ng kakayahan, kaalaman, at kasangkapan na maaaring makatulong sa pag-unlad ng bansa. We bank on patriotism for these Filipinos to come back. Ask not what your country could do for you, but ask what you could do for your country, di ba? At the same time, have to be practical din, no? Kailangan may clear strategy or pathway kung paano ma-execute yung action. Most Filipinos abroad share that same patriotism. I think we all share that love for the country, but Sometimes being in the Philippines, you know, it can be it can be hard. On our wish list would just be for the Philippines to just be better, a better place for scientists overall. But ultimately, do Pinoy scientists need to be in the country to help our science community? With a boundaryless world, I think in the future the trend will still increase the engagement of our Balik scientists. Our problems are transnational. I admire those who stay. You're not sa ibang bansa, and that's why I think motivated kami na tumulong rin in whatever capacity we can. One advantage then of having a diaspora outside, you leverage the network of the Pinoy's outside to the Philippines' advantage. I don't think that geographic borders prevent science from still developing in the Philippines. In fact, I think that, you know, having access to so many Filipino experts worldwide, you know, it makes the practice of science even richer. Music